drone operator in a technology-driven world, helping young people future-proof their careers is becoming increasingly important. Five youngsters have received their remote pilot licenses from the Academy of Aviation in Johannesburg. Now, these high flyers can venture into drone photography or precision agriculture surveying, among many others. ENCA's Linda kutle Kulu has the story. They've planted their feet on the ground for three weeks and finally got their wings. These new remote pilots are part of a handful in the country eligible for employment in drone flying. And as these young flyers take off, trainers from the Academy of Aviation say the sky is the limit. Opportunities are vast and I don't think South Africa people out there really realize just what they can do with a drone. We are, we are in the fourth industrial revolution and we are, we're really pioneering to open people's eyes up to um, move in, in the direction of the fourth RR. This is where they want to be. The Cyril Ramaphosa Education Trust sponsored 10 young people to upscale their careers for the future. In a country riddled with unemployment, it says preparing young people for the future is vital. The way of work has changed um, and we need to be addressing the challenges that the youth will be facing and that involves um, innovation, um, entrepreneurship. Our youth have to be skilled in knowing how they can go out there and create their own opportunities. We can simply try to provide them with um, some sort of skill set in order to, to prepare them for that new world. For the recently qualified, it's wind beneath their wings because a world of opportunity has opened up for them. Firstly, I want to uh, getting in the mining industry or land surveying using a drones. I saw there's a big opportunity in mining industries. Since we had an entrepreneurial course, we're also looking at creating our own businesses mm. with the licenses so we can also open for other youth mm. to work on the uh, RPS jobs. The problem we have is most people become despondent and upset because they go for one or two interviews and they don't come right. But just keep pushing, work hard. The industry is growing and like I said, we want to compete with the world and the world is far ahead and I think it's really possible that we can, we can take over. The Aviation Academy admits that South Africa has been trailing behind when it comes to the use of drone technology. But it's hard at work helping other young people land jobs of the future. Lindogu Shekulu, 